Alright, hello and welcome to another short video. Today we will again talk a little bit about the DEX, so the decentralized exchange on the XRP ledger. So in order to do that, just go to XRP Toolkit, you all know the drill, how to log in there, so you go to log in, authenticate using some app or whatever, we go to the tab called trade there, and then you look for a trading pair. And the thing here, which I'm going to show you is that in this case, you can, for example, use the gate of a uh, bit stamp, uh, euro or US dollar trading pair. I will take the gate up euro trading pair. And the important part there is um, showing you how you can create a limit sell order. Um, so the part there is that when the time comes that you want to sell some of your XRP, you usually uh, take XRP and send them to an exchange, wait and hope that it's been confirmed within a short time, but as you know, when you send XRP to an exchange, can sometimes when the systems are down, even take hours until they are confirmed. So as you know, you're sending XRP to an account uh, from the exchange, the exchange has a service checking if there is if they're uh, checking all the new incoming transactions and matching by the destination tag if they have a user with that um, uh, if they have a user with that destination tag and then that that way they map it and when they receive for example 10 XP they give you 10 XP IOU on their uh, trading platform and yeah it's prone to errors as we know the the Exchange could be down, the reading service could be down. So remember one time I tried to deposit uh, ETH on Qcoin and the service was down. I was getting quite, so this was a long time ago, like, well, a long time is relative, but like five months ago, I sent like uh, uh, whatever, like 0 0.5 ETH to Qcoin and the service was down because we were using some a AWS service and it was down for hours and I was really getting sweaty and thought, oh no, I uh, have I sent it to the wrong address or something like that. But it turned out that the service was down and that I had to wait about nine hours until my funds finally got um, added to my portfolio. And as we know, there are certain times where the, where the volume is quite high, so many people want to buy or sell at the same time. And when that happens, happens the users are handicapped so they're being more or less locked out of the exchange or something like that so don't want to um, uh, make accusations here I'm just telling objectively that this happens that people are not able to buy or sell during so sometimes and that it's not good and what I want to highlight here is that you also have the possibility so in this case without um, sending your crypto away from your account you can go to trade and look for the trading pair so in, your, in the most cases since I know that 50% of all my um, viewers are from the United States since in most cases you will be using US dollars uh, and I guess I'm gonna be going here at euro so you trade look at the trading pair and then you click it sell and limit so you can create a limit order for example you can then make the condition i would like to sell 10 xop when the price for example hits three euros and you can see here the total part so uh, it sh should sell uh, 10 xop when the price hits three euros i will click on play sell order then you sign that on your f so again then you have to sign the transaction here uh so we'll be doing that on my phone quickly And after doing so, you can see this transaction is being submitted. And then, then oh no, okay, it's unfunded though. Uh, right, why? I have enough, ha don't I? Alright, so, uh, okay, so I'm gonna try it again. So, let's, so I'm gonna delete that one here again. So it's in this case it's again uh, a, a transaction type, uh, so a transaction of, of the type offer. They will cancel it again, it looks okay this time. So maybe it clicks on buy. Well, let's see. Or if I sell, right? Oh, okay, buy. Okay, sell, yeah. Ah, okay, I only have a five XOP available, my bad. So we'll click on five, that's why. I will click on sell. Uh, amount 5, it will sell 5 XOP at the price when not at 5 euros and I will go again to sign sign that one here, so sign it again and now you can see on your open orders you can see the order we're just submitting right now and again, ah, I, I know why yeah, we'll remove it one more time so as we should know, there is the uh, owner fee, uh, owner base reserve which is currently um, 5 XRP so your minimum reserve gets 
heightened by 5 XP. So that's why it's like right now a little bit staying here unfunded. So I currently have available 6 XP. So I will do it one more time, but it will only be selling sell limit. I will sell 1 XRP at a price of 5 euros. So okay, we're gonna place it again and then it should not say unfunded anymore. So last time, all right. So I'm gonna sign it again on my phone, sign transaction. And you can see here now that it will work. And now you can see here the order is open. So it's very important that it says open. Otherwise, if it's unfunded, the transaction can never even, if the price hits that, the, the order can't go through. You can see here I'm going I'm willing to sell one XRP at the price of five euros and the order is open. And basically now I'm still I still have full custody over my XRP, but when that condition is met, then it automatically is being sold. So you can set that for example at for example for very high targets, just in case maybe when you're I don't know, if you're not able to um to access your ledger at that certain time or whatever, something like that. So you can basically uh, also make, make sure that it automatically sells a certain part. So yeah, that's basically how it works. The same, uh, you can do the same for buying. So you can set limit orders and also buy um, crypto at a certain, when a certain condition or a certain price is met. And right, so that's how it works. All right, so thanks for watching and see you in the next one.